We will begin this video by admiring my beautiful Welcome to Night Vale tank top. Hi everyone, it's me Sarah, one half of the YA room, and today I wanted to do a little video giving a shout out to one of my favourite authors, Alice Oseman. I could do a shout out video to Alice Oseman every day of the week because I just love her work so much, I love what she creates, and it's just like, I want to spread the love for all the things she does, she's an amazing human guys. But if you don't know, her latest book, I Was Born For This, is out really soon and I want to spread all the love for it because I absolutely adored it and you need this book in your life. So basically this video is going to be me just spreading all the love for Alice's work and everything she does and yeah, let's get into that. The first book I ever read by Alice Oseman was Radio Silence. This is my first copy I ever had and I just love it to pieces. I've read this book so many times that it's now like my designated trash copy where I take it on trips, I put it in my bag, I like take it anywhere I want to read it because I don't really mind if this one gets damaged a little bit. I have other copies. I also have um, annotated this one so you can see I've got some highlighting. I do have an essay in here somewhere. That is just me explaining how much this book means to me. Oh, and on the first page I have a little note to Alice. One day Alice herself might sign this very page. Gosh, Alice, if you're reading this, I just want you to know how much this book means to me. And that's what I wrote in September of last year. I am a nerd. But because I love it so much, I also bought the US hardcover, which is absolutely stunning. I adore that shade of purple. It's very reminiscent of Welcome to Night Vale, and I just love it. If you haven't seen already, there's a new redesigned cover of both Radio Silence and Solitaire to match her new book, I Was Born For This. And of course I'm going to buy that as well. That is absolutely beautiful. I need that in my life. This book is about podcasts and content creators and high school students and putting pressure on yourself and university and it's just like so beautiful and so heartbreaking. Literally everyone in this book is a cinnamon roll and I want to hug them and just tell them everything's going to be okay and I just... <sighs> I've read this book more times than any other book I own. That's how much this book means to me. I think I've read it like at least 15 times now. Like I can open it to a random page and know exactly where I am and just like pick up reading it. It's so good. If you haven't read this book, please make sure you check it out. It is my favorite book by Alice, which is a tough choice because all of the stuff she writes is amazing, but yes pick it up. The next book I read by Alice Oseman was Solitaire, which is her debut novel and she wrote it when she was like 19 or something, which is crazy good, right? She is so talented. I know she works super hard to create what she does and it really shows and she's just such a beautiful writer and I love her work, if you can't tell. I feel like I had too high expectations for this book simply because I loved Radio Silence so much and I saw so much of myself in the characters. I still really enjoyed Solitaire, it was a really really great read. I didn't connect to Tori as much as I connected to Francis or Alad from Radio Silence but it was still a really great book. It's about high school and pessimism and friendship and this thing called Solitaire which you'll find out about and it's really great. So yeah, this is definitely a must read if you love Alice Oseman. And then I found out that Alice also created this webcomic series called Heartstopper, which is absolutely amazing. The two characters, Charlie and Nick, are from her first book, Solitaire, and they are just so adorable. Charlie is Tori's brother, and Nick is this guy that he has a crush on, and you'll just have to see how that progresses. But it is so, so cute and so adorable, and her art style is just amazing. I love it. To give you a little sneaky peek, um, this is the kind of thing that you should expect from it. So please check out that webcomic. Um, I'll leave a link down below. I also support Alice on Patreon each month, so I get pages as soon as she's drawn them, which is absolutely amazing. So you should definitely consider doing that. And then finally, her latest book that is coming out really soon is I Was Born For This, which is about rock stars and fangirls and living the celebrity life and I'm not gonna say any more about that because I don't want to spoil anything but it is so good I love all the characters again and you need this book in your life like please go and get it it is so so good ah! but that is it for my little Alice Oseman appreciation video I hope you liked it I hope you've been urged to pick up all of her books and her webcomic because they are all so good and I love her work so much and you should definitely check it out and support her as well I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've read Alice's book which one is your favorite 
for it? Do you love heart stopper as much as I do? Let's just like fangirl and appreciate Alice. <laughs> but that is it. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.